good afternoon students today is the last lesson of class 6 history the mesopotamian civilization part 3 chapter 1 in this lesson first we'll come to know about the society the mesopotamian society the social structure which was divided into three classes the upper class which used to consist of members of royal family priests and high officials then middle class which consists of farmers artisans and traders but most of the majority of the people consist of farmers lower class who used to give service to this upper two classes let's learn about family life father was the head of the family and he enjoyed special privileges that means special right advantages rights of women were protected Children were brought up very strictly. Boys were sent to school to study reading, writing and arithmetic. Whereas girls were trained in dance and music. Now, next thing we must learn is occupation. What type of work they used to do. How they engaged their life. How they, what was the mode of living. This is very important to know. So, occupation mostly agriculture was the main occupation because water was provided by river Euphrates and Tigris. Flood was irregular. Irrigation was highly developed to provide a steady supply of water. Dikes were made. This was used as a barriers to regulate or hold back water from river or lakes. As you know, uh, Mesopotamian civilization was based on river banks. That's why this was done. And Mesopotamian people invented ox-drawn plow, wheeled wagon was used for transportation, to, for transportation of goods, people. Modern world is indebted to them for this invention. Mesopotamians were the first one to grow wheat, which is very important to know. They also grew barley, pulses and fruits. With domestication of animals, cow, goat, sheep and donkeys were the domesticated animals now moving on to next is art and craft creative skills were developed as agricultural production was increased such as weaving metal work discovery of metal objects statues gold and silver ornaments and pottery is proof of technical knowledge so in this way you can see how art and craft flourish next is your trade stone timber and metal ores were very scarce that means it was not sufficient in mesopotamia so these commodities were traded for the produce of the fields a flourishing trade that developed food grains and finished products were exported to the mediterranean countries like egypt so how do we get information regarding the trade the seals are found in the Indus Valley which shows that the Mesopotamians also had trade relation with India. They kept records of their business accounts on clay tablets. Trade and commerce increased the prosperity of the civilization. Next thing that we are going to learn about the Mesopotamian civilization is their religion. The Mesopotamians believed in many gods. Every city has its own special god. They worshipped the forces of nature like the sun, rain, moon and stars. King was the main priest, chief priest and the representative of the god on earth. The Mesopotamians also believed in life after death. It's been proved that they believed in life, life after death as drinking vessels, ornaments, weapons have been found in some graves. We learned at first how the Mesopotamian civilization started, how it grew up, how it flourished. Now, at the end of the lesson, we will learn how it came to an end also. Though most of the modern civilization can be traced back to the such brilliant civilization called Mesopotamian civilization because it was a vibrant culture which came to decline, which came to an end and it was soon forgotten. As you all know, it was situated near the banks of the river Euphrates. It was a lifeline. It was a source of civilization which unexpectedly changed its course. The flow of the river changed and many of its people were abandoned, were forced to leave the site. Winds, like the natural forces like winds, sandstorms eroded the walls and monuments, big, big monuments of the civilization 
which buried the huge treasure of this great civilization beneath a sandy desert plain. This is how this great civilization came to an end. With this decline, we will end up the lesson. And in the next part, I will give you some exercise work. So till then, goodbye.